This is practice 6b. In this exercise, you are going to learn to add mullions and panels to curtain walls. We, are also, we will also create a storefront that includes a door panel as the front entrance of the building. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is select modern hotel mullions, Revit file. We're going to double click to open that. In the project browser, we're going to scroll down to the elevations. We're going to expand the elevations and we're going to activate the south view by double clicking on it. In the architecture tab, we're going to go to the build panel and select mullion. We're going to select all grid lines. Then we're going to come over to the grid lines and we're going to click and it will place mullions on top of every single grid line that's in each panel. So there's three panels here. Now we're going to click modify to get out of the command or hit escape. Now if you zoom in on where the two panels meet, you're going to notice that there's duplicate mullions here. So we need to delete some of the mullions so that they're not duplicate. We're going to select one of the mullions. Then in the view control bar, so that's down here, we're going to click temporary hide isolate and select isolate category. So this is going to make selecting the mullions we want to delete easier. We're going to delete the extra mullions. So we're going to select the mullion, right click, we're going to say select mullions on grid line, and then we can hit delete. So that will delete all the extra mullions on that grid line. And then we'll do it again over here. Select this mullion, right click, select mullions on grid line, and then hit delete. Let's just make sure there's no more duplicates anywhere. Not that I see. Then we're going to zoom out until the whole curtain wall is displayed. Then we're going to select the entire bottom row of mullions. So we're going to click on the mullions down here. We can use the window selection box so we can just draw a little window. If you notice that if you draw from left to right, it's going to select all the objects that you're mouse touches while it's drawing that box, but if you draw from right to left, oh, hold on a second, there we go. We just said that backwards. So if you draw from right to left, it's going to everything that your window box touches, it's going to select. If you draw from left to right, and you get really close to those bottom mullions, it'll only select those. See, it only selected the bottom mullions. If you have trouble with that, the other thing you can do is click on one mullion, hold down the um, control button, and then you can just click on all of them. I'm just going to practice this one more time. So again, I'm moving my mouse from left to right, and I'm trying to just get as close to those bottom mullions as possible. So now, um, with that row selected, we are going to go to the Modify Curtain Wall mullion panel up here. Remember that's green. And we're going to click make continuous. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow the mullions on the bottom to connect to one another instead of this vertical mullion breaking them up. And you can see in your book it gives you an example of the before and the after. And we're going to repeat that with the top row of mullions. So we're going to come up here and I'm going to select the top row and then come up to the modified current wall mullions and click. Let me actually, let me zoom in and I'll show you. So watch. Make continuous and you can see what happened there. We're going to zoom out and then in the view control bar, we're going to click back on the sunglasses, which are the temporary hide isolate, and we're going to select reset temporary hide isolate and it brings the rest of the building back. And then you can save your project, and we're going to move on to task number two. For task number two, we're going to open the floor plan view. On the architecture tab, build panel, so architecture tab, build panel, we're going to click on wall. And in the type selector, we're going to select curtain wall storefront. So we'll scroll down until we find this is curtain wall, the category, and then storefront is the wall type we want. 
in the properties, we're going to enter the following values. Now you can enter them up here or you can enter them in the properties box right here. So the base constraint should be floor one. The base offset should be zero feet, zero inches, meaning it's sitting on floor one. The top constraint is going to be up to level floor two. So that means the top of the wall is going to stop at floor two. And the top offset is going to be negative six. So it will be negative six feet lower than level two. We're going to say apply. We're going to draw the storefront in the existing wall. So now we have to just find the wall that it's talking about. So it says we're going to draw one foot three inches off the right grid line as shown in the figure. So we're coming down here. This is the area that we're wanting to work with. And we want to draw one foot three inches off of the grid line. So if I can get my temporary dimension to say one foot three, then I'll click, move my wall over until it says 14 feet 6 inches in my temporary dimension, and then click again. And now it placed the storefront. And then I'm going to click modify to get out of that command. So notice that it said if you work from right to left, the exterior of the storefront is placed correctly. So if you drew it from right to left. If you drew it from left to right, it's going to actually invert the storefront, and then you would have to flip it. So then you would have to use the flip tool. So if you drew from left to right, you're going to have to do that. Make sure that you take a screen capture of these dimensions so that I can see them. Now we're going to open the south elevation view. And you're going to see the storefront that we just created. We're going to window around the storefront, window around to select the storefront. So to do that, I'm going to, you can actually hide all these walls if it makes it easier. Or once again, you could select the panel and then isolate it. I'm just going to draw, whoops, see when you, if you try to select it, it moves things. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. First, I'm going to hit escape, and then I'm going to hide all these walls. Okay. And then I'm going to try to select it again. All right. So now when I selected my storefront, you see all these little pins show up on your screen. Um, that means that they're all pinned in place. And to get rid of the pins, we can type UP on our keyboard, which means unpin. And then we're going to modify the storefront. So we are going to move these mullions over so that they're three foot away from the edge of the wall. Now you can't move the mullions, you actually can only move the curtain grids. So we're going to have to select the curtain grid. To do that, we're going to scroll in a little bit so you can see. Place your mouse over the curtain grid, but don't click. Press the tab key. Press the tab key again. Keep pressing the tab key until you see this dash blue line like is shown on my screen. Once you see that, don't move your mouse. Leave it in place, but then you left click to select it. And then you can use the temporary dimensions and you can type in three feet and then hit enter and it will move the mullions because again, the mullions are attached to the curtain grid. And then make sure that you take a picture, a screenshot of that dimension. You can even permanently mark that dimension and use it for your screen capture in the end. So I'm going to move mine down. I'm going to go back to this other side, place my mouse over the mullion. I'm not going to click anything. My mouse is just hovering over it. And then I'm going to hit press the tab key on my computer. And then I'm going to press the tab key again. I'm going to keep pressing the tab key until I see this dashed blue line. Once I see it, I'm not going to move my mouse, but I'm going to left click on my mouse, which then allows me to modify the temporary dimension. And I'm going to just make that temporary dimension permanent so that I can use it to show 
that I did this correctly in my screen capture. So remember, whenever a figure in the book shows dimensions, I want you to also include those dimensions in your screen capture. Now before you finish your screen capture, let's turn the wall back on. So to turn the wall back on that we hid, we're going to click on this little light bulb, which is Reveal Hidden Elements. Anything that's pink has been hidden, so I'm going to click on this wall. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say Unhide Element, and it will unhide that wall type. Then I'm going to close out of this window. All right, so before I can do my screen capture, one thing I need to do is align this vertical grid with this reveal right here. So I'm going to come over, hover over the mullion, click the tab key on my keyboard, click it again. I'm going to keep clicking it until I see a dash blue line. I'm not going to touch my mouse or move it. I'm just going to click on the left mouse, which then activates the curtain wall grid. Now I'm going to use the align tool to align that curtain wall grid to the other one. Let's see if it will let me do it. Okay, so it placed it too high. So let's try to see if we can select the curtain wall grid over here. I think I might need to use this curtain wall grid in order to do it. So I'm going to come back to this mullion, keep clicking tab. Remember, you don't hold tab down. You're just pressing it, releasing it, pressing it, releasing it until that blue dashed line shows up, which is the curtain wall grid. You can only move the mullions with the curtain wall grid. Then you're going to click the left mouse button on your mouse. Align. We're going to find the center here. And then we're going to find the center here, and now it aligned them. And then hit modify to get out of that command. All right, now you can take a screen capture of the image that's shown. Step number nine, we're going to select the mullions at the top of the storefront. And we are going to join the mullions together, similar to what we did at the bottom here, so that this is just one continuous mullion and they're not being interrupted by these vertical mullions. So I'm going to come over, click on the mullion, I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard, and I'm going to select the next mullion and then the next mullion. And actually I think I just selected the panel, so I'm going to hit shift, deselect it, control, select the mullion, and I'm going to make continuous. And then you can take a screen capture of that. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a door in the storefront. So we're going to go to the insert tab from the insert tab. And then we're going to go load family. And we're going to select doors. And then we're looking for a door, curtain wall, double storefront. Door, curtain wall, double storefront, we're going to say open. Now adding a door to a curtain wall is a lot different than adding it to a wall. We actually have to add it to a panel in the curtain wall. We can't, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. All right, so we're going to come over to this large panel. I'm going to get right on top of this mullion so it's highlighted. I'm not, I didn't click anything on my mouse. My mouse is just over the mullion. And now I'm going to press the tab key on my keyboard. I'm going to press it again. I'm going to press it again. I'm going to press it again. I'm going to press it until I see this blue line surrounding that middle rectangle. So once I see that blue box like it's shown on my screen right now, I'm going to come over to my mouse. I'm not going to move my mouse. I have to leave it where it is. And then I'm going to click the left mouse button. So over here in the properties box, you see that that's a system panel and it's glazed. So it's part of that storefront. We're going to click in the type selector and we're going to scroll down until we see the curtain wall double storefront door. So whenever you see it in gray, it's just the title and then below is the actual object you can click on. So we're going to click on that object and then it puts the door inside of that curtain wall panel. We're going to zoom out and we're going to Make sure we can see the whole building. So you can type ZE on your keyboard to zoom extents. 
and then we're going to take a screenshot.